Houston tonight on hurricane force winds that devastated Houston, killing at least four people. The National Weather Service confirming it was straight line winds called a derecho event, knocking down transmission towers, throwing trees into homes, sending glass raining onto downtown streets. Right now, more than half a million people in Harris County remain in the dark. Poweroutage.us reporting nearly 573,000 outages, which is nearly 30% of the county. Tonight, officials warn it could be days, if not weeks, before power is restored for everyone. Certainly not good news because temperatures are going to rise through the weekend. We have team coverage with Chief Meteorologist David Paul and Meteorologist Kim Castro monitoring things in studio, while Meteorologist Pat Cavallin is seeing the damage up close. Our other crews are spread out across Greater Houston. Leading us off is Jason Miles with the effort to get power restored. Jason. Hey there, guys. Yeah, these may be Center Point's biggest hurdles. Uh, huge transmission towers that took a tumble last night, but issues big and small affecting folks all over the area. On Houston's east end, the sound of any cleanup I've covered, a chainsaw working in this case to remove a fallen tree from atop a fence and power line. Our minister lives over here and they don't have power since last night. So as a community, we've been taught to come and help each other. Parishioners weren't willing to wait for the city or center point. Although this caravan drove through just as their work wrapped up and we spotted others up in their bucket trucks in neighborhoods filled with debris. Our, our crews are working as safely and, and quickly as we can. This facility near Greens Point is one of several places where thousands of center point workers, contractors and others are staging. Number one, I want to say thank you for your patience. We, we understand the inconvenience that it is to be without power for an extended amount of time. Restoration may take longer for those directly tied to damaged transmission towers, while even those with generators are already weary. I don't know if we'll get power back uh, for a while, um, so we've moved my family out. They'll be happy to see meters like this running again. And at the height of this outage event, Centerpoint says 920,000 or so of its 2.6 million customers were without power. That number dipped the number of outages to below 600,000 late this afternoon. And that outage map or outage tracker that was having some glitches last night and today should be fully restored by now. So it's an easier way for you to keep up with where those outages are. Reporting live along 290 near the loop, Jason Miles, KHOU 11 News. Yeah, we know several thousand people are working to get the power back on and they're moving quickly as possible. Jason, thank you.